songs are lyrical sketches from a 15-year career, culminating in 2013's Metro FM Music Award for Best Female Album. She is a doer, as we found in her portrait class with Taryn Miller. Look at you, Miss Artist. I'm trying to be, thanks to Taryn right here. Yeah, she's done really well. We've already started. She's understood that the eyes are halfway from the top of the head to the chin. We've done the oval of the head, the center line of the face, and now we're starting to fill out the features. So now, it's up to you. We'll see how this goes. Zonka, you're from quite a creative family. At what point did you want to tap into drawing as a talent? My mom used to paint. Uh, she used to draw a lot and wrote uh, poems. So when I was young, I thought maybe I had inherited that as well. You know, I knew I could sing and, you know, maybe do other things, but I found out that, no, I couldn't draw. <laughs> And so this is why I wanted to take classes. Now, Zonke, you're an incredible artist, but also a phenomenal writer. And you've written songs for the likes of Winnie, Black Coffee, Theo. I have insomnia. I don't sleep well because I have music swimming in my head constantly. And so I keep my phone on at night so that I can be able to wake up in the middle of the night when I'm hearing a song. And I can be able to record that song so that in the morning I don't forget the melody. So you're telling me that some of the Zonke hits we've come to love are from a little phone? Yes. It haunts me until I have have to put it down so having the phone on and the recorder on the phone just you know it helps out a lot so that I can go into studio and develop the song from that idea that I recorded on my phone today Zonke has a full studio being built at her home which should free up time to add some different hits to her repertoire like this dessert by Sasha Zambetti of the Delawood cooking school this is a meringue roulade and this is an example of what you have to make in a moment we know that you're a phenomenal cook so we wanted to test your kitchen by buttons to see if they work as well as your music buttons. I must say, I've never done that before. I've never made that. Don't worry, neither have I, so it's a challenge for both of us. <laughs> Shucks. Can you separate eggs? Uh, actually, yeah. Sure, that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> if you could describe yourself to a dish, what would it be? This is strange, but I love umpokok. Umpokok is a tosa dish, which is uh, putu, uputu. Uh, with sour milk. Oh, wow. So that's one of my favorites. So we call it uh, African salad. <laughs> because we have it, you know, it, we always have it when it's hot, you yes. know, during summertime, because it's a cold dish. Oh, yeah. Wow. You spent about four years in Germany. What do you think you learned the most about yourself during that time? I really, really loved being in Germany because I learned that it's not about how many albums you have. It actually is about the craft because I would have so many people come see me even though at the time I didn't even have one album except the group album which is Culture Clan. But you know we'd always fill up venues and you know people there love African music. It must have been a really fruitful time. I, mean, I developed my stagecraft there you know how to not be uh, scared to be on stage and perform in front of people so that was very important for me and I learned a lot there. You've decided to go solo. What brought about that decision? Nobody knows what an artist wants more than the artist. And I felt like I've reached a stage where I need to do things my way. And I've done that by establishing my own company, which is Lily Music. But then again, you know, you still need the muscle behind you. And right now I decided to have a joint venture with uh, Sony Entertainment. You mentioned that you always have music in your head. What song would you sing at this specific moment? Because we're so relaxed and we're making something so beautiful. I would probably sing something like, um, It's always about you and what you cannot do for me today. Tonight, <laughs> we're going to talk about feelings. Baby, tonight, we're going to talk about all the pain that I feel in my heart. Though I'm loving you still, I'm needing you still. Oh, that was beautiful. For her best-selling live DVD, Zonke did everything from musical arrangements for a 20-piece band to stage design. If you caught her live tour concerts, you'd consider yourself very lucky. Now, Zonke, I believe the tickets to the making of your DVD were sold out in like seven days. Yes, I mean, that was quite exciting. I was involved, you know, in every step of the way. And I performed 21 songs. 
So it was quite a long show, but we had fun and I never felt ready, but because people had been asking for it and it's my job to give them what they want, I felt like it's time. I definitely can't wait to get my hands on a copy. The DVD just went gold. She's writing music for a new Hollywood film and working as a United Nations ambassador for refugees. What a star. Thank you so much.